Good morning, friends and fellow traders. Happy Friday. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for August 30th, 2019. The last trading day of August. We're going to be heading into September and the long Labor Day weekend coming. Congratulations, everyone. We made it through the week. Let's take a look at what's going on in the markets this morning. Um, Pretty interesting that we're getting another big gap up this morning. At least right now, the futures are pointing to more than a 100-point gap up. They've been up as much as 170 points this morning as we kind of extend yesterday's big move to the upside. So here's where we're what we're looking at here when we look at the Dow. We look at the, the Dow overall, and as you can see, we have a market here that um, pushing through some resistance levels in price, but we still have significant significant resistance levels above, including that 50-day moving average. And the way it looks right now is we're going to gap up to try and test that 50-day or very, very close to that 50-day moving average this morning. Um, you know, one of the things I wrote in the morning blog this morning, and by the way, if, if you want to read the morning blog, right below the title of this video there will be a link where you can go back and view the morning blog but essentially i wrote how this is this all or nothing market is becoming very tiring and honestly really ridiculous considering the fact that tariffs are still in place we're going to go back to a negotiation table but um, we've done that before and nothing has changed maybe this will be different but the fact that we're swinging all the way back up in this all or nothing price action has just gotten really weary um, as we try to speculate around what's going to occur on um, these negotiations, which I think everyone probably honestly expects will take weeks, if not months, before we come to any kind of an agreement, if an agreement is even reached. There's a story on CNBC this morning that China is just likely to wait and wait it out and see what happens after our presidential election so who knows who knows what's going to happen here but right now lots of emotion spilling out into the market and we'll want to watch those resistance levels in those charts pretty closely um, as we approach um, approach them this morning also keep in mind there is a really good chance after the morning open, the morning pop, that we end up um, seeing volumes really die off quickly today because a lot of traders, a lot of trading floors will be clearing out. You know, this is getaway Friday for a long weekend. There'll be a lot of folks heading out trying to beat the traffic and get their weekend started early. So think about that as you plan your day forward. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY, also getting this substantial gap up this morning, trying to break through this resistance, and it could even pop just above that 50-day moving average. Now the question is, will it hold um, after the morning open? Will there be enough follow-through to um, hang in there? We'll have to wait and see on that, but trying to pop on through here this morning, showing uh, that sign. Now, remember, we always have to, on big morning gaps like this, we have to consider the possibility of the pop and drop. And that's where we pop up, get, you know, get that early morning pop, and then we find selling the rest of the day. So keep that in mind. And around the 50-day moving average, that is certainly possible. And we have seen that before, right over here, when we just... Um, decided to uh, do the all or nothing thing um, again. So we'll have to wait and see how that actually responds. But you know, going into the weekend, everybody's feeling good. Everybody uh, is hoping for a good weekend, except um, we certainly have to worry about our friends in Florida as Hurricane Dorian um, it looks like it now is targeting the Florida coast. So to everyone in Florida, I wanna wish you the best as you prepare for this storm. And please, 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 Please get out of the way of the storm. Don't brave the storm if it starts to get severe. Um, you know, no home is worth your life. So protect yourselves. Um, in Florida, we'll be thinking about you all weekend. Let's take a look at um, the queues. QQQ also moving higher here this morning, and we're going to see a gap up open that's going to 
looks like it's going to pop just above if if this holds it's going to pop just above that 50-day moving average right up here where we've had these tests before and and weren't able to quite hold them so we're popping right up into that into that price resistance area there in the chart so keep that in mind that 50-day moving average still in play we'll have to see if that can hold it or if um, the markets decide it's going to rip on through there let's take a look at IWM now poor IWM it is rallying back strongly but doggone it <coughs> excuse me I apologize I'm still fighting this cold um, um, IWM is still very, very sick, um, uh, been declining all year. It is nice to see this rally back up, but we're rallying right back into some significant resistance levels in the chart. So pretty, pretty nasty looking chart to tell you the truth. And this gap up this morning will still even be below the 200 day moving average on, um, uh, IWM so nothing here that really warrants um, that warm and fuzzy feeling of bullishness let's take a look at the VIX the VIX pulling back nicely yesterday and I suspect that will pull back again this morning on this gap up open now let's keep in mind as we pull back we're going to be watching this level of support in here to see if there's any place that we're going to find a little fear coming back into the market um, but right now all all engines engines are engaged to the upside the bulls are running and they don't want to stop so good sign for the market it's always nice to get a relief rally i just wish we wouldn't be all this emotional swinging back and forth and and unfortunately as you guys know as traders you know we we got the majority of the price action moves are occurring overnight um, we did get some follow through yesterday, obviously, um, um, in, in the market, but after gapping up so substantially yesterday, um, the majority of yesterday's move was in the gap this morning. Um, it could be the same, uh, which makes it uh, really uncomfortable trading and, um, and makes it almost impossible to hold on to an edge. So that gets disappointing, but it is always nice to see a relief rally. Um, particularly, you know, nice heading into a weekend. Now, we had a in T2122 just a substantial move up here in T2122. So we've extended this move this morning. If we're gapping up into here, we could be extending this all the way back up here in just a two day move going from an oversold condition to that bearish reversal. Um, overbought condition in the very short term and that's what I mean by all or nothing where we we get these radical swings down swing it back up swing it all the way back down swing it all the way back up and that's creating a mess in the charts as a matter of fact when you go through and look at charts it's very very difficult to find many charts with good structure in them their structure is just a mess because of this emotional trading and it is getting tiresome and I know it's chopping up people's accounts um, badly so be very careful I know it can be frustrating hopefully after this weekend maybe things will start settling down maybe we will start to get some of that clarity that we've been looking for and things will start improving but until that occurs we've got um, certainly um, some worries to um to deal with here this morning on that big gap up watching for that with those volumes to drop as traders start to head out for the long weekend and hopefully they hold that market hopefully we don't see that pop and drop but we certainly don't want to rule that possibility out this morning let's take a look at our economic calendar for today our economic calendar will have a little bit to say about what happens in the market today. We have personal incomes and outlays coming out. You know, yesterday we had um, kind of a surprising drop in pending home sales. That had a, 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 a really quickly the market dropped on that news and then um, reversed back up. So um, we're starting to see some of those signs in the market that we could be experiencing some slowdown um, in the U.S. economy, but it hasn't been substantial yet. So watch this personal incomes and outlays. Uh, that could certainly move the market around. Chicago PMI and then consumer sentiment can also move the market. So watch those closely today, 8.30, 9.45, and 10 
a.m. this morning. I think after that period of time, we're likely going to see the market really um, get slow, slog, you know, just kind of choppy um, as we head into the weekend. But we do have some earnings today that could inspire the market here just a little bit uh, this morning that could... Um, could move us around a tiny little bit. Take a look at big, big reporting well this morning, gapping up substantially here this morning, looking pretty good. Um, CPB, Campbell Soup, also reporting well, gapping up this morning and looking pretty good. So there's a few charts out there that could be giving us a little bit of inspiration and helping us to support um, this big gap up this morning. So keep an eye on those and watch those closely. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. And, and, and I also want to wish you just an awesome, awesome weekend ahead. Hope you have some great plans. And, you know, I know the, this market has been tremendously frustrating. But, you know, we can get away from it for about three days, clear our head and come back. And uh, look, uh, it'll look a lot better um, next Monday so or next Tuesday. So... I want to wish everyone a fantastic weekend. But before we do that, if you guys would do me a favor, could you click that subscribe button on YouTube? If this is the first time you've seen these videos, click that thumbs up button and also click those, uh, leave a brief comment. You know, I do my best job at trying to put out good quality content without all the hype and, and drama that we see in so many other places and really focus in on the technicals of the chart. And if you find that to be useful, if you find that to be helpful, um, you know, please click that subscribe button and also the thumbs up and, and leave that brief comment. And, and by the way, it doesn't have to be any kind of big comment um, uh, that, you know, any comment counts. But I want to say thank you so much for all of the very great comments that um, we receive on the um on the channel, one thing I one I want to point out specifically this morning is a a subscriber by the name of James Duffy. If you go back and read uh, James's um, comment yesterday, a very exceptional comment where he talks about his experience in the negotiation field uh, between countries and um, lays out a very very uh, compelling case for a deal to be struck. And so I want to say thank you to James personally um, for that. Just wonderful comments. And um, I truly, truly appreciate that. You guys are awesome. Thank you for participating. And um, also, please feel to share these videos um, out there anywhere. You, you guys are the best. Thank you very much. And I truly appreciate it as we head into this long weekend. So let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up, stocks that have been pushing around. Now, of course, with a hurricane coming in, we always want to think about um, stocks that could be benefiting from um, the, the kind of damage that happens. And Home Depot certainly comes to mind. Home Depot getting a strong move here as that hurricane developed and continues to move on higher. I mentioned this yesterday, uh, powered right on through yesterday, um, closing near its highs, and it's looking to gap up higher this morning. So kind of keep that in mind. Home Depot, um, Lowe's, all of those places are probably seeing uh, substantial um, sales, sales going on. Um, as everyone in Florida is working to protect their homes uh, from a, another damaging hurricane. So watch those closely. Those are a couple places you, that you might want to look. Also, <clears throat> um, if we start looking at some of those consumer defensibles um, uh, stocks, they have held up really well. Even though we saw a little selling yesterday, um, Coca-Cola held up really well. Now, I ended up closing my Coke position yesterday, taking a, I think it was a 24, 25% gain on the trade, something like that. And now Coke is looking to open about where it closed yesterday, still holding this trend nice and strong. Also take a look at PepsiCo. PepsiCo also moving up strongly yesterday and staying strong this morning. So we might want to keep an eye on some of these consumer defensives um, 
where we're still seemingly getting buying coming in. Now, Hershey had uh, kind of a, a strong pullback yesterday, but we'll want to keep an eye on some of these defensive stocks because they are still getting some love. And considering the fact that the market is rallying hard, seeing those defensive companies continuing to move up uh, should give us just a little bit of caution or pause on what's happening in the overall market. But with that, let's take a look at a few others. Mitch, M-T-C-H, Match.com, uh, looking really, really good. Um, holding in this consolidation, as you can see, been trending beautifully. I have an alert on this chart. Been watching this pretty closely and watching that one for a potential trade. TTWO, I think, is also uh, an exceptional chart. Has had very little back and forth in this chart considering the drama that's been in the market ttwo continuing to look good look strong wanting to move higher and uh, showing some really really good signs here overall if we take a look at some of the pay systems like visa visa rallying back strongly and one of the members yesterday pointed out take a look at visa on a weekly chart boy on that longer term chart that is a beautiful potential setup here for that trade so thank you to the members who brought that up really really good potential setup here on that longer term uh, position as these pay systems seem to be coming back visa mastercard uh, those kind of things rallying back higher on uh, the day take a look at uh, amgen amgen moved up here and hit this price resistance level in the chart now i think amgen pulling back yesterday was okay as long as we can consolidate across this area right here, what we're looking for is that little rest or pullback moving back toward the trend and then we'd look for Amgen to maybe move on higher. Amgen's looking good and staying pretty strong here. Considering how crummy the overall market is, this is a beautiful chart. Um, another place you might want to look is STX. STX, big move yesterday, breaking its downtrend in the chart now i don't want to chase this move what i look for in a stock like this is i look for that trend i want to see this stock after breaking through get a rest a consolidation a pullback so we pull back into here hold that trend hold that price support and i'd be looking for a buy in here a consolidation just as good now if this stock has to continue to move on higher a little bit before it pulls back that's okay as well move on up and then give me that rest but then i want to look for that next entry into the trade stx looking very very good and showing um, some nice strength overall um, in the market take a look at tyson tyson another beautiful setup here morning star pattern Breaking through price resistance, Tyson looking very good this morning. These uh, defensive sector uh, packaged food type stocks looking very good. Another one is LW. LW packaged food, um, really nice move through this price resistance. Consolidated that, held that as a really nice level of support. Now moving up and showing strength. So we'll want to keep an eye on LW. It's holding up pretty strong. Um, overall so keep an eye on those charts so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a great day and and even more importantly i want to wish you a restful safe weekend hope you all have some great plans to relax and um, enjoy friends and family on this weekend for and remember what it's for um, the labor day weekend is to honor the workers of america who really keep this country moving and um, to think about all of those um, folks who have, um, who have dedicated themselves to these fantastic businesses that we get an opportunity to trade here as traders. So everyone, take care of yourselves. Have an awesome, awesome weekend. I wish you all the very best. We'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Remember, we have Monday off. Yippee. Talk to you soon.